I'ma chase my dreams. Yeah. Uh oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am transparently D. Well, I'm keeping it 100% transparent in the life of D. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? How is your month of May going? How is how was your Mother's Day? I am coming to you all today for the update. I know y'all say, like, girl, you sound awful. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, y'all. Let me get. I am not. <clears throat> what I am not going to do, I am not going to cry in this video. Now that is something that I am not going to do. Um, so I'm going to give you guys an update on what's going on. Where are we at with the pregnancy? How am I feeling? Signs and symptoms of gestation. And what's really just going on right now. Um, you guys, I live in Atlanta. The city of Atlanta. And um, we are out of gas. <laughs> and uh, I already knew that this was coming because the Misto works in the IT industry. So he already knew about the breach. And um, so we were already prepping for this. <laughs> so we already knew so all of our cars are filled up with gas um and we got a little bit of gas left over so if you follow me on my social medias then i had already told you guys last week that there was an issue uh there was a breach of um security it related um to the gas lines and that you guys needed to start racking up on gas so now if you didn't listen to me then that's a whole other thing but i told you um so today on another note we got gas so if you're saying how y'all out of gas are you going to get something to eat all the way in a whole nother city we got gas and the breach should be over. The gas lines are supposed to be backing up and running by Sunday. So hopefully, you know, the gas trucks will start back um, delivering gas by then. And this whole gas frenzy thing will be over by Sunday from what we're hearing. Okay. Um, secondly, we have danced our way. Uh -uh, not danced. We have vomited, <laughs> urinated, um, slept, been lazy our way into the second trimester. We are officially in the second trimester of pregnancy. Yay! Um, I am 14 weeks in one day gestation. And let me tell y'all that it has not been all peaches and cream. So a few days before, I'm not going to cry in this video. A few days before Mother's Day of 2021, that's what year we're in, we received notification that baby B's heartbeat has completely stopped. So, um, I'm okay. I have had my days of crying and being sad and, and I want you all to know as a Christian, you have the right 
to be sad. You have the right to be upset. You have the right to cry and, and things of that nature. Um, so his heartbeat was always slower than baby A. So when I put my nurse hat on, I knew what the outcome would potentially be. But with my mom hat on, I just was not feeling that. I wasn't feeling that at all. I ain't gonna take no lie. Um, so then, um, I know a lot of people ask, well, what do they do with the other baby? Like, and basically, they just leave him there. They don't take him out, or there's nothing that I could take to um, make myself expel him and, <clears throat> and keep baby A. So he'll just stay there. And um, my doctor said that um, my body will reabsorb him. Either reabsorb him or he'll just still just be there when I deliver baby A and then he'll, he'll come out at that point. Um, but more than likely because it's so early on that my body will just reabsorb him. And so I was just listening to him talk, you know, and he was, you know, basically saying that he does not know why this happened and um, there's really no rationale for why it happened. Um, and he said, um, huh. <coughs> 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 I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, he called. He said, um, we affectionately have ourselves a twinless twin. And although I know that term is correct <clears throat> for him, and I know that my doctor was not saying that in a malice way. He was not saying that, you know, to hurt me or anything like that. He's he's using his medical degree. That's exactly what what he is. He's a twinless twin. Just to hear that term. Oh, it broke my heart. I'm not kidding. Even when I think about it now, it, it just it just makes me sad. Um, but one thing that I know, that I know, that I know, that I know, that I believe deep down in my shanana is that all things, <laughs> Not some things, not the good things, not the things that I want, not the things that I need, but I believe that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And one thing I know is that I am called. And one thing I know is that I love him. So I know that all things work together for the good of me. Me. All things work together for the good of D. All things work for the good. And although I want answers because our embryos are PGS tested normal and I want answers. I want to know why. I want to know what happened. I want to know what would have happened that God sees just like I was talking about the GPS thing. What did you see in the future that called for your decision to end baby B's life? What, what what did you protect me from? And that's an answer that I'll probably never get. 
I'll never get get that answer. And I'm and I know that. I know that I'll never get that answer. Um so baby B's name was Seven Jedediah. And um his name was spelled S-E-V-Y-N. And uh, I have ordered um, things with their names on it, you know, um, blankets and shirts and hats and um, and t-shirts and uh, things. So the items for seven will always be kept. They'll always be um, stored, if not even displayed. Um, maybe A will always know that he was a twin, he had a brother. Uh, we will tell him, you know, what happened and, and always, because I don't want him to feel like, you know, I just feel like there's a part of me missing. Like, there's something missing. What is it? You know, and have him go through his life trying to search for this missing piece when the missing piece we have information on. You know, am I thinking too deep into it? Probably so. But guess what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, so that's the major update um, going into this second trimester. We are okay. His dad is okay. He processed things differently than me. I am very matter of fact. I'm very emotional. I am very curt. Straight to the point. I'm a straight shooter. And then I take it all in and then crumble. <laughs> That's how I process things. Um, he, on the other hand, is more of a sit back and be quiet. He does. He never, ever responds to things right away. And I think that's why we jail so well. It's because we could be going through stuff or, or something could be going on. He never responds to it right then. Never. Never. So I could be totally upset and and screaming and hollering to the top of my goddamn lungs, and he's just going to sit there like, and then I'm like, you sitting there like you don't even care. Or you're not listening to me. And he's like, I hear you. I'm listening to everything that you're saying. But he doesn't respond. He doesn't respond because he never wants to say anything out of anger that he does not mean out of love. So he just don't respond. So you just be like, okay. Let you just say whatever it is you want to say. Do whatever it is you want to do. And I'm just sitting here. And then later on he'll come and he'll he'll say, Okay, this is what I was trying to say. Well, this is what I was trying to do. And then if by this time I done forgot all about it, because I rent and rave and explode and then forget about it. Because I just need to vent and get it off my chest and then I forget about it and I move on. And then he comes back and he was like, You know the situation that we had? with this, that, and other. Well, this is what I was trying to tell you and this, that, and other. And so now that I've forgotten about it and i moved on and I'm calm, then now I understand his point of view. So, that's how we handle things. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> we are yin and yang. Swear for Lord. I'm telling you. And I think that that is what makes it work is that we're yin and yang. We are both Scorpios and we are t on the total opposite ends of the spectrum of Scorpios. You know, a lot of people talk trash about Scorpios and say how mean we are and how, you know, we're just mean and aggressive even. We've heard those terms and um, that we just don't care. I'm all that. Everything that you know, everything that you heard, 
everything people have said about a Scorpio, I, that is me to the 10th power. Full blooded Scorpio. I am, I am she, she is me, we are her. I'm telling you. But him, some of the things he is a full blooded Scorpio on, it is not PG, so I am not gonna even <laughs> go there. Some things he are, he's a full blooded Scorpio. Good God Almighty. <laughs> God forgive me. I got a lot to keep from crying. I'm telling you, forgive me. There are other things on the other spectrum. He is not. He is, he is a Scorpio, but he's just a more calm Scorpio than me. Let's just say that. Unless you bother me. Now, if you do something to me, that nigga ain't nothing to be played with. I'm telling you the truth. Like he is a beast. But I like that. I like that level of protection that he has over me. And that's what initially attracted me to him. Was um how go into that? I'll go into a, a how we met and, and how everything started with us. I'll do a video on that. Anyway, 14 weeks gestation. And now we back on track, y'all. Forgive me. Um 14 weeks gestation. I am still have that nasty taste in your mouth. When you get pregnant, you get like this taste in your mouth. And it is absolutely disgusting. So I still have that nasty taste in my mouth. I still get super dehydrated. I am still nauseous. Um, I still vomit. Vomited the other night. And I don't even necessarily mind the vomiting. This TMI. I'm going to give y'all some TMI because, you know, I got sisters out there that's trying to get pregnant. And I want y'all to know what the lip really reads. So, I don't mind the vomiting because after I vomit, as long as I can lay down, I feel better. But it's the urinating while I'm vomiting for me. Okay. <laughs> like, like I don't even have to go to the bathroom, but when I start vomiting, then it just goes everywhere, and I'm just like that. It's the most annoying thing in the whole entire world for me. I hate it. Everything about it, I hate it. Oh my god! And then after I vomit, I can't go lay down because now I got to take a shower. I got to put clothes in the washing machine and wash. You know, I'm just like, ugh. But. That happens during pregnancy and it's normal. Um, so, my doctor has me on Finnegan, Reglan, and Zofran. The thing that helps me more than anything is the Reglan. Because Reglan um, increases the peristalsis and it helps your stomach empty quicker. So, because it um, empties my stomach, it keeps me from being nauseous. I do have to take the Reglan about an hour before I eat and then I'm good. The Promethazine or Reg or Finnegan, it does help me after I'm already nauseous. I steer away from the Finnegan because not only is it a narcotic, but, um, but mainly I steer away from it because it makes my mouth dry as hot. I ain't kidding. Especially when I take it at night and go to sleep. I'm going to have to ask the mister. I think I'm a mouth sleeper. Like, I must sleep with my mouth open or snore because I snore. I do. Or snore with my mouth open. Because when I wake up, my whole esophagus, not esophagus, esophagus, the whole thing dry. My whole mouth dry, my lips dry, my tongue dry, all the way down is just dry. I, I mean, I have to like dig from my spirit to, to even get anything to come up so I have water. Um, the mist that brought me this like canister thing that keeps um, 
the water cold for a long time from my last pregnancy I still have it and uh, I keep water at the side of the bed sorry so I wake up and I um, drink water um, another thing is let's see what else um, I'm tired all the time man well promise if I don't get this mess under control soon I'm gonna end up losing my job cause well I clicked though I went on like yesterday was a busy day for me at work just with the people that I was dealing with the people in the community that I was dealing with so it was just a busy day man god I was just trying to get this one situation under control and I understood my team lead was like listen you cannot fix everything i am a fixer give me a problem let me fix it i am truly a fixer i am um so i understand when she's saying listen don't try to fix everything right now you know just tell them that you will call them back and then that'll give you time to fix everything and then you can call them back but see that ain't your girl and I do tell them I'll call them back. But I give myself a time limit. I got an hour. I'm going to call you back an hour, hour and a half. With this situation all put together. So when I'm asking for information from other parts of the company that I work for. And they dragging their freaking feet on giving me the information. That drives me absolutely bonkers. So we had a round table with our big boss. Like the boss that's over my boss's boss. And I was like, I need access to X, Y, and Z. I have to have access to that because I don't have time to sit there and wait on somebody else's, oh, I'm gonna get me some sushi for lunch. I don't have time to sit there and wait for somebody else to give me the information that I need to be able to do my job. It makes me look like I'm incompetent or like I don't have all the information that I need at my fingertips or I don't know what I'm doing and I do not like that I don't like that I need access to X Y and Z and he was like I understand where you're coming from I do but that's a whole nother system that you guys have not been trained on because you don't really need to know it I'm like I do need to know it I need to freaking know it oh my god on the tantrum y'all today anywho i logged off yesterday at 7 30 i get off at 9 y'all know i'm working at home I'm working at home well my main job i'm working at home so i didn't go to lunch break until 7 30 p.m and i say lunch break I went and laid down and went to sleep. And when I woke up, it was 10 something. So not only did I not um, log off and log back in to finish my job. I left my computer up. I didn't shut it down. We supposed to shut it down every night. Uh, girl, I was not, I was asleep. I was asleep, my son. Um, was rubbing my calves and girl I was just, I was done I'd be so tired that's the main complaint I have right now is that I'm super tired super 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 tired anyway um, my breasts are very large and they are very sensitive I won't say that they hurt but they are sensitive I'm normally like a 34 triple D I'm, I'm an F right now. And I'm a 36 F. And I weigh more now than I have ever weighed in my entire life. I have never been this big. Um, so we have mommy makeover in, in motion. I've had a consult with the doctor here and, um, I have diastasis recti. The top of my stomach is bigger than, it's always been like bigger than the bottom. 
But all the women in my family is like that. I'm finna order food, so y'all give me a minute. All of my family, all of my, um, the females in my family's stomach is like that. So I just thought it was genetic, which it is. But it's diastasis recti. So before I get my mommy makeover done, I have to get the diastasis recti. That's when your muscles don't come together. They're apart, so they have to bring them together um, in your stomach. And then I'm going to get my mommy makeover. My breasts are already big, so I'll probably get a reduction and take them down to a full C cup. And I am torn between a tummy tuck and lipo 360. But I'm going to do one of those, one out of the two of those. I am not going to do them until um, I am done breastfeeding. So six months after I'm done breastfeeding and I plan on breastfeeding for about a year. So hold on y'all, let me... Can yes, can I have the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit meal? Give me a drink. Can I have a Sprite? See you miss anything else? Um, do you all have any other sides for lunch ready yet? Yes, ma'am. Can I have a large uh, macaroni and cheese? Anything else? No, ma'am, not at all. Go ahead and put it around. Oh, a boo boo berry. Can I have a a boo berry biscuit one, please? Or two, however, however it comes. You said two blueberries, and then you wanted a large mac and cheese. Yes. Go ahead, pull around. Okay, thanks. Okay. All of that is not for me to mac and cheese. It's for Skyla for dinner tonight. Okay, don't do that. And one of the biscuits is for her too. Um. So I am gonna get myself all fixed up. I'm gonna get myself fixed. Because I could lie to y'all and tell y'all that I'm going to uh, work out and eat right. Which I probably will. More than likely, I am going to work out. I am. And I am going to eat decently. You know, as decent as I can with breastfeeding and pumping and all this other stuff. Oh, I ordered my free pump. But they can't send it out until September. Which is fine for me. Um, but I do plan on pumping, having a good stash. This time I'm having a lot of breast soreness. I did not have that with Skylar. Um, and I think that that impacted my ability to be able to nurse her as long as I wanted to. Um, so I am going to, after I nurse, I probably shouldn't have did that. I'm going to block that out and show him a card number, girl. After I nurse, um, then that's when I'm gonna get my mommy makeup with the girl. Ooh, the girl gonna be snatched. Not because I ate right or did right, but because the girl got the money to pay for it. And I'm just being honest with y'all. So that's really it. I'm gonna go back to the doctor until the end of the month. So I have scheduled a um a ultrasound at the sneak peek place, whatever um for this coming saturday so i don't know i worry about him because i don't feel him moving i do got cash in here i knew i did um i don't feel him moving like i did with skylar so he worries me so i i do have my doppler that i do listen to his um heartbeat and i will insert that probably right Okay, um, that was a couple of nights ago, but I still don't feel him moving enough for me. I don't know. I think because I've lost baby B, um, I don't know. I don't know, I worry a little bit. Y'all know I'm, that's not one of my characteristics. I don't worry about nothing. But I worry about him. But I did schedule um, an ultrasound just to see, check on him. I'm gonna do a 4D, 5D 
um, ultrasound on to, on Saturday. Today is Thursday, so I'm gonna do it on Saturday. And uh, just to check on him and see how he's doing. Um, other than that, everything is good. Uh -huh. I'm not constipated anymore or anything like that, so that has subsided. I, they say when you get into your second trimester that your um, body adjusts and you don't be as sick as you were before. So I'm hoping that that is the case. I'm hoping that um, I don't have um, any more sickness because God knows I can't take it. I'm telling you. I need, dang it, rock and roll sushi is not even open yet. Oh, see, now I'm going to have to leave work and come over here and get me some sushi for lunch because I see it and now I'm craving it. Let's see what time they open. They open at 11. Shucks. Okay, so anyway, y'all, that's it. I don't have anything else. Y'all know how we do it on this channel. Keep your faith on fleet. Always remember, strive to be on top because the bottom is already too crowded. And remember, all things, all things, all things, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. All things, all things. All things, Diddy, all things work together for the good. All right, y'all, y'all have a good day. Everything all right, I'ma chase my dreams. Everything all right, everything all right, I'ma chase my dreams. Everything all right, everything all right, I'ma chase my dreams. Everything all right.